Bradley to pick up some parts. After that, we're gonna go over to Eric's house. He's gonna let me do some maintenance in his shop. Uh, we're sitting about, I'd say, five degrees with wind chill around negative seven, negative five. Um, it's pretty cold out here in Wisconsin. We just got hit with a big storm, so. Let's head on over to Lincoln Diesel Specialties. <laughs> So we just picked up the parts from Lincoln Diesel Specialties in Red Granite, Wisconsin. Um, again, if you're looking for any Duramax parts, even Power Stroke or Cummings, they have everything you guys need, from all the way from injectors to simple filters. They have absolutely everything. They're an awesome source. They have a great online store, and the customer su support, the service is just outstanding. So I'll leave a link in their description below. Go ahead, take a look at them, check them out, and uh, we'll see you over at Eric's. We're at Eric's shop now. Uh, about to do an oil change on the truck. Now, typically, when I do my oil changes every other, I will do my fuel filters as well, and then I'll check all my fluids. But for this specific one, all I'm doing is an oil change this time. Uh, last time I checked all my fluids, and I did my, fil my fuel filters on my air dog. So, um, typically, I go with Shell Rotella T6. Now, T4 is a great option as well. I'm not some oil fanatic. I don't know, you know, all these sort of different things, what's good, what's not good. I've always been a Shell Rotella guy, so it's just what I stick to. And then I also use AC Delco um, oil filters. So we're going to go ahead and get the truck lifted up and get the oil changed. All right, so underneath here we've got a 5 ace PPE drain plug. I replaced the stock one. Um, when I got the truck because it was all stripped out. So it's a magnetic kind. I thought it was actually a pretty good investment. So go ahead, get yourself a 5A socket, take that out, drain the oil out, and then up over here is gonna be your filter. Take that out, put the new filter on, and you'll be good from underneath. Delco oil filter is going to be right here. These are the numbers for the filter. My old filter, the last time I did an oil change, I didn't have any time, so I just stopped at a quick loop. That's why I didn't have an AC Delco on one. But I always try to get an AC Delco on. And then also, make sure you take some old oil, rub it on the inside of this ring here on the seal, and uh, then you can install a new one.
definitely more towards the Shell brand. Um, I've used it for a long time, specifically T6. Um, I know Shell Rotella T4 is a great option, more affordable option. But you now you're gonna use 10 quarts of this. I'm not an oil guy. I couldn't tell you what's the best oil or Amps oil is the greatest or Mobile One, Valvoline. Walmart brand, Amazon brand, I don't know, but this is just what I know, so I stick to it. The same goes with the AC Delco oil filter, so we're gonna go ahead, get this oil change finished up, and finish up the day. five minutes turn it off check your oil make sure you got enough fluids in there and if you do you're good to go so run it check it and that's all you have to do again I'll leave Lincoln diesel specialties link in the description below go ahead and then check them out for any diesel parts from Duramax Cummins power stroke they have it all honestly so great customer service like I said not paid at all not sponsored at all by them I just really like how they are and they're always there for you when they when you need them so again Come Wednesday's video, I'm gonna have a small announcement for you guys. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you then.